Okay, everybody, we're going to take, we're looking through the quadratic functions and equations. A review package here on question 14, which says write a quadratic function in root form with x intercepts of negative 2 and 3, uh, and it passes through the point uh, negative 1, 6. Now we're going to do this in root form, and root form looks like this y is equal to a times x minus r times x minus s, where r and s are both uh, the roots or the x intercepts of the graph here. And so I know that the, based on what we're being told here, that these values are negative 2 and 3. So x minus negative 2 will be x plus 2. x minus positive 3, which then will be x plus 3. Now the thing that I don't know here is I don't know the, the vertical stretch. So what I got to do here is I got to take that point that they give me and plug that in. Now remember what we had said before here when we're working with questions like this. It, it'll become very apparent very quickly whether or not you really understand the graph here uh, if, if we have troubles plugging this in. Remember, this is the x-coordinate, okay? So where x shows up in the equation, that, uh, that's where I'm going to put negative 1. This is the y-coordinate. So then this will become 6 is equal to a, don't know what that is yet, okay, times uh, negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. And then we just evaluate the binomials. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, which is, which is nice, which basically means that's, I'm not going to get much from that. But negative 1 minus 3 will be negative 4. So 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. And when I divide that across here, okay, and, and uh, divide out the common factor of 2 here, I will get negative 3 halves is equal to a. Now that's not the end of this question. I got to take it one step further here and I got to actually write down the equation. And the equation in this case would be negative 3 halves x plus 2 times x minus 3. And that was the equation that we're looking for.